Hi everyone, what's up and welcome back. Now today we're going to do the same combo, however, we're going to use the Draco side. Now, I don't like using the Draco slow engine because the performance is a lot poor. As you can see, I'm doing the combo with three cards. Now, granted, you just need one normal summon. It doesn't really matter what the normal summon is because you don't actually need Joko. You actually need Luster. But Joko can bridge you into Luster. And you're going to need to discard a pendulum monster that's level 4 or low. So specific. When in the previous combos I could discard literally anything and I'll do the combo anyway. But I digress. So this is going to be the combo. First, normal summon Joko, use effect. We're going to add revolution dragon, revolution effect, pitch itself, add lusto. We can scale lusto. And Majesty will use Majesty's effect. Add Luster's effect. Pop Majesty and add the next copy. We're going to now scale the power loader to special summon this using this effect. Then I can scale back the other Majesty. So now that I have two monsters, I'll synchro into Ignister. Use Ignister's effect. And in this scenario, I'm going to summon a next power loader and link effect add astrograph now you might be like why did i add power loader because once you have everything it's best to play as if you're going to get nibiru so power loader when it gets tributed by nibiru i get to add so i'm going to pendulum someone just the two you can do entire combos from here and use majesty's effect if they nibiru no problem tribute everything and you get the token. Token in the middle, as they would normally do. I get my field spell still and throw away. Then power loader effect, I get to add. In this scenario, I'm going to add majesty and I'm going to use its effect. Didn't matter if I use its effect or not, honestly. Because I'm going to use it back from the graveyard. Domain expansion. From here, Sky Iris pop the high scale. Add Seer. We're going to activate Seer, use effect, pop itself, and we're going to get back Revolution. Scale Revolution, use this effect, pop itself, bring back Ignister, drop Astrograph, and use this effect to add the next copy of Revolution. We can scale it immediately and use Ignister's effect. We get a special from deck. It doesn't matter what you special someone, it's not impactful. However, I would advise that you always keep a Draco Slayer inside the deck at all times. So I'm going to use an X copy of Luster. I will link with both of these into Cross Sheep and tribute both of them to special someone Dino. Cross Sheep will be triggered. I get to pull back. You get to pull back here the level 4 or lower as I mentioned. You could technically pull back Majesty. But then your this would be dead for the rest of the duel. The graveyard effect at least. Now I'll link with both. I'm going to exceed. Exceed's effect will get me back my Astrograph. From here, use the revolution effect, pop itself. Get back Ignisto, drop Astro, and get a third and final copy of your revolution. You'll pitch it and add Morphage Lettery. So you can lock them onto a spell, you can activate it immediately. Remember, always the third copy that you're going to pitch and search. Ignisto's effect, special summon, and then I'll link with both of these. Berserker. Apologies. Source man effect special zero day. I'll exceed with both of them. The Garis, the Garis effect. Pull back Ignisto. Link with both of these. Go for Berserker, Berserker effect. Pull back both Swordsman and Zero Day. And I'll link with both into Singularity. From here, you are going to hold off on exceed if my apologies on your dino effect 
So you're going to use this, the special from your deck. It has to be an ex-ignis. An effect to reborn. Really and truly, you can reborn any of your Draco Slayers here. Any of them will do. I'll choose this. So from here, I'll use Ignister's effect. Pop this. And shuffle your opponent monster. No, my apologies. The scale back into the deck. Now, effect will trigger. And special summon this back again. The reason for doing this is that you cannot synchro with the monster that Ignister summoned from the deck, so I couldn't synchro with this. Now I can synchro into Borel. Put Codebreaker and three counters. Now I can use effect to special back from the graveyard. And from here, these two will go into spheres. These two will make firewall. Now only get to add back one, which is all I really needed. Effect. I'm going to add back the revolution. Activate it. Use this effect. Pop itself. Bring back Ignister for the final time. Iggy effect. I'll summon the last luster from my deck. And make a second spheres. We'll link our firewall, put Xylantis, and Singularity will pull back your firewall. Now the combo is done and completed. Um, they are locked out of spell when you trigger your spheres. So your spheres you can use tribute as upon the draw phase. Tribute and bounce by their Nibiru. You get a special from deck. Slot. And the neat trick is that they can't fly impermanence on you. So imperm cannot pressure you immediately by doing this. And they're now locked out of spell cards. The firewall can bounce back two. Zelantis can pop four cards. Borel is just there in case something happens. So they can't just immediately run over because Zelantis is here. It destroys for every Colic monster and doesn't target. Spheres itself doesn't target either when I tribute it. So it's a non-destruction, non-targeting removal, which is really neat. And two spheres, you can activate both of them in scale. That's a map of in the extra monster zone. In the extra monster zone, that effect, both of them is not a once per turn, a hard once per turn. But the effect of someone from deck is hard once per turn. So when I attribute this, I know immediately only one can summon from deck. So that I don't really want to attribute itself. But what you can do is tribute the firewall, Singularity will bring it back. And then upon your standby phase, Lechery has to maintain itself, tribute itself, Singularity will bring it back immediately. In other words, they're locked out of spell for the entire duel. Now I don't play double spheres normally. If you want to play double spheres, you have to get rid of Apollozo or take extra deck. You have to pick one of them. Now double spheres is actually really cool. It helps the pressure a lot of deck because you get to summon two spheres up here and it locks them out of zones for someone. So if I'm playing against uh, Salad, Salaman Grey, they can't link someone at all. And it's not like they can summon and just attack because Zelantis is there. So normally it's an instant win against certain decks. For decks that don't really care about their extra deck, still fine. Because who is going to withstand these two bounces upon this and no spells. Name one meta deck that can do that right now. No one can because they don't. Um, that's it from me. But in my opinion, this is the weakest combo for me because I like Apollos on the field because a lot of times the normal summon monster effect immediately pressures uh, an answer. So if the normal summon is going to remove something from the field that is going to get them out, you're going to want to have Apollos in there instead. All right. If any opinion, you can always tell me down in the subscription box. My apologies. In the comment section down below. And that's it from me. Bye.